Good morning. Who's on God's side? Today we're looking at Mark 9, verse 38 to 41. Let's read. Now John answered him, saying, Teacher, we saw someone who does not follow us casting out demons in your name, and we forbade him because he does not follow us. But Jesus said, Do not forbid him, for no one who works a miracle in my name can soon afterward speak evil of me. For he who is not against us is on our side. For whoever gives you a cup of water to drink in my name because you belong to Christ, assuredly I say to you, he will by no means lose his reward. So there's an, something you and I might have a tendency to indulge. We've got to be kind of careful of it. And that's a desire sometimes to command others. Jesus' disciples tell him here of this incident where someone was casting out demons. And they said, well, he, he's not part of our group. He's not part of our church. And so uh, they said, you stop that. And that's, that's not the way it should be. Now, and guess who this was? This wasn't just anybody. These were, these were the disciples. These were, these were the apostles of Jesus telling them this. So, yeah, that sort of seems to carry some authority. And yet, when they tell Jesus about it, maybe they had a sense somewhere that, you know, I'm not sure if we did the right thing here. So they, they tell it to Jesus. And what's Jesus' response? Uh -uh. He says, no, don't do that. Stop right there. What's going on here? No one, says Jesus, who does a miracle, a true miracle in my name, can soon turn around after that and speak evil of me. And so we need to be careful about our judging. Now, now this, isn't a, this isn't what we're reading in, in this passage. This is an incident. It's a gospel incident. This is not a big Bible study. When we sit down with the Bible and gather around, we can get into the Word, and there are, there are definite uh, places here that things that are true, things that are false, things that are correct, things that are not correct. When we look in the Bible, we can determine which things are correct by the Bible because the Bible's always correct. But this is a case where these people were casting out demons, and Jesus told his disciples, don't forbid that. You know what? God is bigger than you and I are, and we have plenty to do just to get our own work right for him. The work of the gospel, the living and giving of the truth of God, God, his present truth in this age. So right in there, that's a tall order right there. We need to be fully focused on that. And God hasn't called us to do a lot of uh, picking and poking around and telling people over here, you know, you need to stop, you need to continue, you do this, you do that. We need to do what God's told us to do. So what we need to do here is let God be God and we need to trust Him. He'll sort a lot of this, He'll sort all of this out uh, ultimately. And so let's let God interact with the people that He's interacting with. We'll find through history there are many times that people that don't, we didn't think they were on our team, but they were on God's team. What about the wise men that came from some distant land to see the baby Jesus when uh, bypassing the people that should have known better? Here come these almost pagan people, and that's okay. God worked with them. King Nebuchadnezzar gets some dreams from God. This pagan, absolutely pagan king, and God gives him some dreams. So God interacts sometimes with people in ways that might be very surprising to us. We need to uh, be in our own business and be faithful to him in our own business. Let's start there. I think there's, this is a big world, and there's room for different people to try to do for God according to their best understanding. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your word. From the Bible, we can tell uh, what you want us to do. And so, Lord, help us to be faithful to the charge that you've given us. Uh, we just pray that you will leave, uh, lead us and use us, and we have plenty to do to be right uh, without getting into other people's face and uh, being their little boss. Uh, Lord, please, you direct us. You are our king. Help us to be your servants. Thank you for hearing our prayer today. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, we don't want to indulge that uh, sometimes possibility of uh, getting into others' business and telling them what to do, people that are outside our group. Let's pray that God will work directly with those people. And maybe we'll have some opportunities to interact with them and share some good things with them. Maybe we can even pick up some useful things from them because we don't have a corner on the truth. Praise God, he's given us a lot, but um, we want to work together when we are able. So let's be faithful and God will be with you today. Have a wonderful one.